How's it going YouTube? Van Damage here. I have a finally building another do-it-yourself project. Uh, those of you who have subscribed to my channel, you have heard me talk about possibly doing a Raspberry Pi build. Well, I finally got in the screen. I've got my Raspberry Pi. I got the board. Let's see what I've done. Okay, so this is not a complete build just yet. Um, today, basically, I spent most of the day trying to figure out the programming, uh, what I wanted on here, uh, how to actually attach everything, uh, and also I went through a couple of different operating systems just for what I was, you know, what I'm using it for. Um, so I wound up going with what's called RetroPie. Uh, basically, it's a preset menu system to where you don't need a mouse, uh, you need a, you kind of need a keyboard to get it started, but after the initial setup, you can pretty much get by without one. Um, I still have mine attached just because there's a couple of things I need it for. Um, like I've set up Cody on it, which is basically a, uh, it's like a media center type deal. So you download different apps to it and then you can watch TV programs, movies, all that fun stuff. So I spent most of the day trying to set that up, and then I realized I used a smaller SD card than what I originally thought I threw in it, so I had to redo the whole thing. Um, but yeah, basically this is the setup that is going to be in the box whenever I finally put it in. Uh, I'm going to throw this into a Pelican case. I'm going to fashion out a couple of plates for it so that I can mount the monitor here. Uh, this is the board that attaches to the monitor so that the Raspberry Pi can send a signal to it and I can get this display. Um, as you can see, I'm playing Bomberman. Yeah, Super Nintendo Bomberman. It actually works. You can see I'm walking around on here. Let me... I mean, you can hear it. I've got it attached to a speaker right now, just something that I bought before. And if you know my channel, you know that I build my own stuff, and that right there should be a big no-no, but I've had it for a couple of years now, and it still runs great, so I'm still going to use it. Uh, let me pause that because I don't want to lose all my time. Um, but yeah, here you can see I've got the Raspberry Pi. This is a, a Model 2 B+. Plus. So it has four HDMI, or not HDMI, my mistake, four USB hookups. It has a LAN cable or uh, Ethernet cable attachment. So I have this actually connected to my home, to my router, so I can access everything through my desktop. Uh, if I had my PlayStation turned on, I could access the files on there, whatever. Um, you can see here, HDMI out. Uh, this is a touch screen, but I'm probably not going to use that because of the program that's on here. It doesn't actually support a touch screen. And also, this, I got it for... I bought it for $43 plus like $16 shipping and whatnot. Um, and it's a 7-inch screen, so it's bigger than what I need. As you can see, I still have black border all around it, so I need to go through, figure out how I can expand this to the entire size of the screen. But, you know, for the amount I paid for it compared to what it is everywhere else on the internet, I'm not really complaining about it. Uh, you know, I don't really need the touch screen. That was just going to be an added bonus to it, but me personally, I don't want touch screen for this. It's basically going to be a portable you know, Super Nintendo, Sega, you know, whatever I need it for. Um, but yeah, it this it's running great so far. I've got the programs loaded up. As you can see, I'm using it. You heard the sound through there. So I just need to set up a little bit of a, you know, small speaker system in it. There's a couple of sound boards that I can get that are designed specifically for this. They're low power. And they use the, um, like if you've ever taken apart a Game Boy, it uses the same type of speaker that's in there. So, you know, I can use that, or not necessarily that speaker, but get updated ones for like what you would find in a normal tablet. And, you know, watch movies on it, hopefully, if I can get that figured out. Um, I can't get it to read my hard drive right now with the program that's on there, but I'm not done messing with it. So hopefully I'll have that fixed. I'll probably... Uh, address that again in an upcoming video. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys where I'm at with it, because I you, I know you guys have heard me talk about building this before, those of you who are subscribed to my channel, and I just wanted to show you the progress I've done. I'm actually happy about this. Like, this was, you know, yeah, I've spent probably, oh, what time is it now? It's like, 
It's 11 o'clock at night where I'm at, so I've probably spent the past, geez, six hours working on it. But that was loading a program, you know, trying out a couple of different operating systems, you know, pre-done ones that other people have done, and going, oh, well, this is all right. Well, I'm going to save this card, and I'm going to try a different one. Oh, I like this one better. Let me erase this one, throw another one on there, and then realizing that I put the on my final one that I decided on, which is the RetroPie, I put it on the smaller SD card, so it doesn't exactly have the space that I wanted on it. But, you know, I finally updated it. It took me another hour to get the programs back the way I want them. And, yeah, here it is. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's what I've done today. I've actually got this started up. Um, anybody who, if you use the RetroPie, um, on the actual site, I don't care about updating right now uh on the actual site here i'll show you this while i've got it up but uh this will be the download link i'll actually attach this link um let me show you the other one uh this right here is the beginner's guide it tells you exactly how to set everything up as far as uh using a keyboard setting up a controller like i have a super nintendo controller but you can use a like a PC, a, one made for a PC, but, you know, an Xbox con type controller, a PlayStation controller. Uh, this shows you how to set all of that up. Um, but yeah, I'll attach those two. And also this one, it has a little bit of info on the uh, RetroPie. So, you know, you can go through, read all this. It has update, you know, releases, updates, all that fun stuff. So all of that's going to be in the links below. Um, you know, so that way you guys, if you have any questions or you, you know, you see what I've got on mine, I've got, I'm playing Bomberman for the Super Nintendo on it. Uh, but it has, a, it actually comes preloaded with a, some other games. Uh, but it, you know, it tells you how you can put on this, on the ROMs and all that stuff. Um, I'm not going to tell you where to get them just because that's going to be a bit of a, that could be a bit of a headache on my end. Uh, but not because I don't want to tell you guys, but because issues of uh what is it the the legal the legality of them and whatnot like the games that i have on mine are you know i have the hard copies sitting here i just don't have the super nintendo anymore because i fried it accidentally yeah spilt something oops but but i will show you i will give you all the links to download the programs um oh actually i didn't explain to you what i wanted to on this one hold on let me flip you back around okay so on this website, you'll see Raspberry Pi, you know, it'll say 0 slash 1, and then Raspberry Pi 2 slash 3. Um, now on the first one, I don't know how many of you are going to watch this all the way through, but on this screen right here, hopefully that didn't interfere, but okay, on this screen right here, it gives you a little rundown. Where is it? Here you go. This right here, pay attention to this. It, I'll read it out loud for you. If you get the error, illegal instruction, when it boots, you pick the wrong SD image. What that means is you downloaded the wrong one of these. So if you download the wrong one of these and it doesn't send you to the, uh, it'll send you to the boot menu where it basically asks you, um, do you have a, not, it doesn't ask you, but it'll give you a welcome screen like this right here saying, welcome, one gamepad detected, blah, 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 hold to configure. Now, if you load it up and it doesn't show that screen and it only gives you the DOS menu where you can start typing out and it will start loading programs, that and just look at the very top of that screen and if it says, install, what, what, what did I say it said earlier? Uh, illegal instruction, if it says that anywhere on there, you downloaded the wrong image, go back to the website, download the other link, and you're good to go. Uh, that's why I spent most of my time you know, cursing today was because I accidentally downloaded the wrong file. So whatever you do, make sure you download the wrong or not the wrong one. Make sure you download the correct one. And this will be less of a headache for you than it was for me. Um, so I'm going to do this through all my videos. Whenever I do something that does work, doesn't work, I'm going to tell you what I did, what I did wrong and what I did to remedy it. So this is a little taste of what you have to look forward to. Um, but yeah, that's all I'm going to do for today. Uh, this probably ran a little longer than what I was hoping for. But, you know, I, I just want to get you guys the information because I'm, uh, my trade is I'm a plumber. I have no electrical background whatsoever. 
Last year, I started building boom boxes, which got me the confidence to build this Raspberry Pi build that I'm doing right now. So, you know, I the it, little background to give you that you know anybody can do it. Like I play with water, but yet I'm playing with electricity right now and oh my god this is so much fun like being able to put this together and say i created it um but if any of you guys are looking at this and like well i kind of like that look up raspberry pi builds just look them up there's hundreds of them out there uh there are people that have done portable ones like handheld systems i'm doing mine in a um pelican case so basically it's going to be I can carry this around with a handle, plop it down on a table, open it up, pull out the controller, hit the power button, and I can start playing right then and there. Um, but yeah, people have used it in small robotics, gaming systems, uh, home media centers. I'm actually trying to figure out how to do mine as a home media center as well. So, I mean, you know, the, the sky is the limit with this thing. So, you know what? I'm going to stop right there. I don't want this video to run on for too long, but, you know, if you like my video... Please, you know, hit that like button down below, subscribe to my channel, comment, ask me questions if you want, you know, if you have any questions about where to find some of this information, um, I've got a couple of websites that I've saved, and you know, I'll gladly send those you guys this way so you can start doing it, uh, but yeah, you know, like I said, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will be posting videos as I go with this build, so you know what? You guys have a good one. Bye.